do not buy that wig off AliExpress unless there are multiple picture reviews. Multiple. My mouth is gold. Shorty says she like my teeth okay forever, ever. You would never tell a lie, bitch, forever, ever. I'm getting to this ride. What's up, face fam? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. How you doing? How you been? So the reason for today's video is, um... So the reason for today's video is because of all of the wigs that I buy off of AliExpress. Um, a lot of people ask me, you know, how do I know what wigs to buy? How do you know it's going to be decent quality? Like, that type of thing. So this video is just basically going to explain how I buy the wigs that I buy off AliExpress and what to look for when buying things in general off AliExpress. So when you shop on a website like Shein and AliExpress and things like that where things usually come from Asia, it's kind of hard to know how to do it, I guess, when you first start doing it. But I've been shopping on AliExpress since I was like a sophomore in high school. So... At this point, I pretty much know what to do. I know what I'm looking for. I guess we can start with the wigs that I've already bought. So, this wig, um, this is the kinky curly wig that I have, the black one. And if you go to it, like the long names, those mean nothing. Look at the first picture that you see. If that looks... And it's not going to be like an exact picture because they never like take an exact picture. They always get it off some other website or something like that. So the first picture you see that's going to be kind of what the wig looked like. But not exactly what the wig looked like. Because AliExpress be flexing to be honest. Like I ain't never seen none of their wigs look like this. But these are the pictures they use. So I usually just kind of look at the pictures that actually show the hair just to see if it's the type of hair or like curl pattern that I want and for the most part the hair that they sent me is this curl pattern it's not as like smooth but it's this curl pattern and then the next thing I do is I look at the price so this price was $46 $240 which really just means the shortest um the shortest length that you get is going to be 46 and then the longest length that you can get is going to be 140 so then if you go to stretched length they show you the lengths 8 inches would be the 46 140 would be the 24 inches so that's how you know the price and then to really know what your wig is going to look like do not and I repeat do not buy a wig if there are no reviews not regular reviews not oh my gosh this wig is so great I mean picture reviews do not buy that wig off AliExpress unless there are multiple picture reviews multiple so this one actually doesn't have that much but because I'm so used to buying wigs off AliExpress I know what to look for but when I first started I would not buy a wig unless it had like a hundred plus pictures of that wig so these are the pictures that showed up for this wig and this is what the wig actually looked like when I first got it but after I brushed it out it became like more poofy because that's what I wanted it to be like but overall these are like the accurate pictures of what you will get with your wig not the picture that they show you in the beginning because that's not really their wig they got that off the internet somewhere so yeah these pictures are accurate descriptions of what the wig that you buy will actually look like so I know for a fact on your phone there is an option when you click on best match it goes best match price low to high price high to low and then it says orders or numbers ordered or something like that if you click on that it'll show it to you with the highest amount of orders first so you start at the top it'll be like hundreds of thousands of orders and the lower you get it'll eventually be zero orders so what you're really looking for is hair that has been ordered multiple times because if it's been ordered multiple times then you know it has a lot of picture reviews so let's see try to stay away from from orders like this from reviews like this because this i mean is it's clearly not it's just you can tell like you can tell when the wig is actually from a real person and when it's from someone 
from AliExpress who wanted to just put it up there so people could be like, oh, look, this wig has a review. Like, be on the lookout for that because they do that too. Okay, like this one. This ginger wig has 443 orders, right? Bam. This is what they say it's going to look like. Go through it. It might look like this. This is the curl pattern. And then here's a perfect example. You go to the picture reviews and then you scroll down. There's literally the pictures. There are literally the pictures that were posted in the actual like thing that's selling the hair. These These pictures right here are the same pictures as these. So that's the kind of stuff that sellers will do sometimes, but that's why you have to make sure that there are multiple picture reviews. Because if it's more, the more picture reviews, the more you can look and see what the hair will actually look like when you get it. So even though it's filtered, you can still see that this will be the curl pattern. You can get in close, look at the color, look at the lace, stuff like that. Let me show y'all what kind of wigs not to buy. Not necessarily not to buy, but just kind of stay away from them. This wig has two orders. And it does not have any reviews at all. So basically what that's telling you is don't buy this wig. Because it most likely will not look like these pictures. Because as you can see... Even from the wigs that do have a lot of orders, the wigs that the people are posting in the reviews, they don't look really anything like the pictures that the seller is posting. So no reviews, no buy. That's all you really got to remember. These are some of the wigs that are my favorites. Um, and let me just show you like a comparison of why they're in my favorites. This is the same wig or whatever. So this one has 282 orders, right? Bam. Go to the custom reviews. Look at the picture reviews. It's 38. So that means there are 38 picture reviews. And most of the time in picture reviews, what is that a picture of? Oh, most of the time in picture reviews, they post more than one picture in each review. So it's just the same wig a bunch of different times over and over again. So I know that if I were to buy this wig, it would look something like these pictures. This is how it will look wet. This is how it will look dry. This is how it will look kind of combed out. So, I'm telling y'all, when shopping on AliExpress, picture reviews are the key to success. Well, that's it for this video, guys, because this AliExpress app on my iPad is tweaking. Um, It usually does not tweak on my phone. So, if you're going to shop on AliExpress for wig, I suggest you do it on your phone and not on a laptop or an iPad because it's really trash on my laptop, too. So yeah, stick to your phone. It's easier that way. If you guys liked this video, if it was helpful in some way or another to somebody out there, like, comment, and subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you can be notified next time I post a video. I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace. And they keep on talking about all the times and shit's the same to me. Yeah. But this is for all them times where all the bitches flake on me. Hey,